A lot of people are turned off from designing circuits because it can require a bit of math. And while many engineering equations could easily turn off newcomers, probably the most useful one is thankfully quite simple. It looks a little bit, in fact, it looks exactly like this. And it's called Ohm's Law. Ohm's law defines an important relationship between three very important electrical properties. Voltage, current, and resistance. And just in case you're wondering, current uses an I instead of a C because C is used for coulombs, uh, which are a unit of electrical charge, but we won't get into that right now. Anyway, you've likely heard the terms used before, but just to get things straight, let's go over what they are. Voltage is defined as a difference in electrical potential. You can imagine it kind of like this. If we have two points, at different heights, water at one point and water at another point. If we connected those two with a pipe, water would flow from the higher point to the lower. This difference in height between points A and points B is kind of like a voltage. So when we talk about a nine volt power supply, we're really talking about nine volts difference between the supply's positive and negative terminals. Of course, voltage is measured in volts. Makes sense? Current refers to the rate at which electrons flow through a given point. And current is measured in amperes. And finally, resistance measures an object's opposition to the flow of electricity. It's a bit like a narrowing in our pipe that would cause a change in current. So, like I said before, Ohm's law defines how those three properties relate to one another. Now, to remember this relationship, we can use this pyramid diagram. To find voltage, we multiply current by resistance. To find current, we divide voltage by resistance. And likewise, to find resistance, we divide voltage by current. As long as we know two of the three values, we can rearrange this equation to find the third value, thanks to algebra. Let's say I have a 9 volt battery, which I do. So, voltage is 9 volts. I want to limit the current in my circuit 
to 30 milliamps. And that would be 0.03 amps. I need to figure out what value resistor to use to limit the current to that amount. Ohm's law tells us that resistance equals voltage divided by current. The resistance is equal to 9 divided by 0 0.03. Therefore, resistance equals 300 ohms. So a 300 ohm resistor. Equipped with Ohm's Law, there's nothing you can't handle. All right, there'll be a few things, I mean, especially outside of like circuitry. It's helpful, definitely, to have around. Use it.